Hi everybody. I'm here in Colorado Springs uh, visiting some of the devastating fires that have been taking place uh, over the last several days. Uh, as many of you have been watching on television, uh, entire communities uh, are under threat and we had a chance to tour some of the devastation that has been taking place uh, in some of the subdivisions here. Uh, firefighters are working 18 hours a day around the clock uh, trying to make sure that they get this uh, blaze under control. Uh, we've got volunteers who are out here who are making sure that uh, these firefighters have the food and uh, the, the water and all the resources that they need. Uh, and we've been engaging in some uh, unprecedented coordination between federal, state, and local communities uh, to try to bring this fire under control. Uh, and one of the things I've done here, in addition to saying thank you to these firefighters, is uh, to let them know that all of America has their back. Uh, you know, one of the things that happens, whether it's a fire uh, here in Colorado or a tornado in Alabama or Missouri or uh, a flood uh, or a hurricane in Florida, one of the things that happens uh, here in America is that when we see uh, our fellow citizens uh, in trouble and having difficulty, we come together. Uh, as one American family, as one community. And uh, you see that spirit and you see that strength here in Colorado Springs uh, where uh, people are, are working together, uh, promising each other to rebuild. Uh, we've got to make sure that uh, we are there with them every step of the way, even after this fire is put out. So for those of you who can provide some help, uh, you should get on the online site of American Red Cross. They're very active in this community and you can make your contributions there. Uh, we're going to continue to make sure that uh, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, uh, the Forest Service, uh, our military, and National Guard, and all the resources that we have available at the federal level uh, are brought to bear uh, in fighting this fire. This is a good reminder of what makes us Americans. We don't just look out for ourselves. We look out for each other. Uh, and one of the things that I told these firefighters is uh, that you know, we can provide them all the resources they need uh, but only they provide the courage and the discipline uh, to be able to actually fight these fires. Uh, and it's important that we appreciate what they do, not just when our own communities are struck by disaster. Uh, it's important that we remember what they do each and every single day uh, and that we continue to provide support to our first responders, our emergency management folks, our firefighters, uh, our military, everybody who helps secure our liberty and our security each and every day. So uh, America, I hope you guys remember the folks uh, during these times of need. I know this is a little bit unusual. We don't usually do uh, weekly addresses like this, but uh, I thought it was a good opportunity for us to actually focus attention on a problem uh, that's going on here in Colorado Springs. We never know when it might be our community that's threatened and uh, it's important that we're there for them. All right, thank you very much.